Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Stephanie, and today I'm going to show you how to create a topic overlay or a talking point overlay like this, where you have your topic, and then you, as you talk, it highlights and then fades out. I'm going to show you how to create something like this for free in Canva. So let's get started. All right, so we are here in Canva. And as you can see, this is the free version. So everything I'm going to show you today, um, you should be able to do it for free. So what we're going to do is, um, because we're making this a live stream overlay, we're going to uh, say that it's in 1920 by 1080. So we're going to go to uh, type in uh, the search box desktop wallpaper. All right. And it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to go to this top left box where it says create a blank desktop wallpaper. And so there it is right there. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to add a background. So what we're going to go and do is we're going to go over here to elements. And then up here, highlighted here is background. If you don't see this in here, you, should, you can type in background here. And it will pop up the free available backgrounds. Now I'm not gonna too, get too complex or complicated with it. So I'm just gonna choose this one right here. And let me delete. I'm gonna take it and I'm going to like drag it over so that it fills the entire screen, all right? So we have our background established. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is go over to the search bar and hit the X sign. And we're gonna go to lines and shapes. Push see all and we're just gonna drag or uh, click on this square here. All right, so first what we're doing is just setting up our box. This is where our camera is gonna be in. So you can set it up to whatever shape or size you want. If you want it in 1920 by 1080, you know, a box like this, or if you want it the long uh, rectangular way, like I have it in this box, you can do it like that. All right, so uh, we have that, all right? So the next thing you wanna do is set it however you wanna set it. Um, if you are not going to put any overlays or name things down here, you can like, you know, extend this, but just in case you want to put some, um, like flash your name down here or anything you can. The next thing I want to do is click on this box and we're just going to click on the green thing right there. So we can turn the box green because we're going to eventually need to, um, get rid of it once we put it in our software. All right, the next thing you want to do is go back to elements and we're just going to add a little border around it. Go to see all and then we're going to click on this border. And it's going to add it in green. First thing we want to do is change it to we'll just change it to white. We're just going to be very simple. Now you can have a thick border like this if you want to and just shape it up the way just this way. Or if you think that your border is too thick, one thing you can do is just like take the uh, top left hand corner and shrink it down, down, down until it like thins out to how you want it. And then just drag and square it out just like that. All right, so our box is done. The next thing we wanna do is add our topic boxes to the side. So we're gonna grab this, click on the square again and it's in here. And we're just going to make it small. You know, you can have thick boxes, you can have thin boxes, whatever you prefer. Um, and however long or narrow you prefer. So I'm going to make my boxes like this. And I'm going to kind of align it up with this right here. I'm going to change these boxes. I don't want them to be green, so I'll just... Um, choose this random color. We're going to choose uh, this. Yeah, we'll choose this light blue color since it kind of matches. All right. All right. Now that you have your box done, we're going to leave it just like this for just a second. And we're going to go into uh, the text. We're going to add subheading. All right, so we're gonna put it right there. We're gonna center it up in the box. Um, I'm gonna change my color to white, the font color to white. And we're gonna put um, topic or heading. 
So whatever the title is, say for instance, you're talking about fruit. And so the topic is the topics are different kinds of fruits. And then we're going to add the different type of fruits we're going to talk about. All right. That's just for instance. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this and copy all of this. Well, actually, first of all, we're going to group it. We're going to highlight it and we're going to group it. And then we're going to click on it. And then we're going to, again, left, right click, copy. All right. So say, for instance, we want, um, just like my example, we want four different topics. We want a heading in four different topics. We're going to go here and we're going to, like I said, copy. And then we're going to paste this. four times. And obviously, um, you're going to put whatever topic is in here. I'm just going to leave it generic and put topic. need to know how to spell topic. Topic. Oh, man. I can't spell topic today. Oh, my goodness. I just don't I'll have to worry about spelling it wrong again. All right, so we've got our headings. We've got our topics in there, all right? So the next thing we're going to do, you're wondering, okay, we've got all that set up. That's cool. And like I said, you guys can format this, you know, move this around however you want to so it can be aligned well, however you want it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, copy this again paste it and we're going to move this over all right go up to the top here and push ungroup and what you're going to do is you're going to delete your text out of here so just um, click on your text and push delete and then take this box and we're going to change this box color to black all right so now the box is black the next thing you're going to do is go right up here to the top right hand corner of your screen and you're going to see it says position. It has like a little copy style. And then there's a thing that says transparency. Click on transparency and take that down to about 70 or 60 percent. All right. We're going to hit uh, we're going to double click on here. Type 60. I think my keyboard is messing up on me here. All right, we're going to click here, and then we're going to pull it down to about 70%. All right? So now you can see that this is transparent. All right? And actually, I'm going to move it down to about 60%. All right, so now, now that we have it there, we're going to, again, control copy, and we're going to paste it. And actually, before we do that, what you need to do is click on this right here, this top uh, corner. It says duplicate page. You're going to need to duplicate this four times. So we're going to push that one, two, three and four. All right, now that that is duplicated, we're going to go to the very first page and we're going to cover topic one, topic two, let's paste, paste again, cover topic three or four, and then cover topic three. And then you're going to
go down and now this time we're only covering topic because now we're talking all about topic one. We're only going to co cover topic two, three, and four. Now here's where you are left with an option. Now, now we have, we're talking about topic two. So three and four are obviously covered, but here's an option of what you can do. You can either cover topic one, and then go up to the transparency and like make it darker. So it's like, okay, we're completely done with topic one. So, you know, you can take that to about 80%. Right. So topic one is completely covered. About, let's say, let's move it to about 70%. 75. All right. So that that's darker than the other two there. So that means we were done with topic one. We're on topic two. The other two left are three and four. You can do that, or you can just either leave it at the 60% like the other ones, or you can leave it uncovered. I'm going to choose to cover it up. All right, so that was topic two. Um, now we're on topic three. We've talked about topic two. Paste. All right. We're going to change the transparency to 70. Same thing with this one. Oops, we're going to change it to 70. All right, and last but certainly not least, our last topic is topic three. And I'm going to backspace that. What I'm going to do to make this easier, for some reason, my keyboard OK. All right, so we're going to move. Topic one up here, we're going to click on here. We're going to type 70 in here. OK, so if you preview it, we're going to push uh, the full screen mode, topic one, topic two, topic three, and topic four. All right, so that's all done. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go up here and we're going to download. And we're going to, you can do PNG or JPEG, whichever you choose. I'm going to choose PNG. We're going to download all pages. First of all, let's just call this um, Topic Overlays. Topic Overlay. All right. We're going to download that. All righty. Downloading. All right, now I'm going to save that. I'll just save it on my desktop so I know exactly where it's at. All right, so I'm just going to save this on my desktop. As topic overlays is going to be in a zip folder. So I'm going to go down here and open it and then extract, of course, extract the files or however it works for you guys. And there we have our topic overlays. So the next thing I'm going to do, because we need to be able to get it like this, where we have a, you can be able to see the picture and not the actual green in the screen. Um, we are going to go to um, this website called Pixlr. It's P-I-X-L-R dot com. Now, this is also a free software. It's similar to Photoshop. So we're going to click on Pixlr E. 
All right, so now that we're in Pixlr, we're going to click on this button that says open image. You're going to go to wherever you save your file from. I'm going to click open or click on that and push open. And then what we're what you're going to do is you're going to click on this right here. It's called the wand select tool. You're going to click on that. And because we've already made it green, it should be easy for it to find. So boom, we're going to just click right on top of that green image. It's going to create that little cutout. And all you're going to do is push delete. All right, so now that's cut out, we're going to push Control and D to deselect it. And then we're going to go File. We're going to Save. And then I'm just going to call this One Alpha. Because it's a um, transparent background, we're going to save it as a PNG file. And we're going to download it into the same folder that the actual overlays are in. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to do this again for the rest of your images. So we're just, we're going to go to file. We're going to open image and we're going to go to image two and we're going to do this for all of the rest of them. So let's get that done. All right, so now that all of that stuff is done, what we're going to do is we're going to have to pull it into our software, our live streaming software. Now, this could be OBS, it could be Ecamm, this could be uh, StreamYard, whatever uh, software that you're using. This could be what I'm going to be using today is vMix. So we're going to pull it into vMix. So let me show you how that is done. All right, we're in vMix now, and what you're going to do a cool thing that um, you can do in vMix. All right, now that we're in vMix, a cool thing that you can do in vMix here, not sure about um, the other softwares, is you can just drag and drop your, your overlay in here. All right, so, and then I'm gonna add input And so basically all you're doing is however your software works, you're just going to set up your thing. So what I'm going to do is go to, for vMix, you go into layers and multi-view. I'm going to pull in my camera. And then I'm going to pull in my first one. Whoops. Okay, that's not right. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna shrink. You're gonna have to like move your camera around so that it fits properly. All right. And then you do that for all of your different slides so that, let me get over to here, you can now see the topics and stuff like this. And so basically we've created something simple using our software called Canva. So this is how you create a topic. I don't know what to call it. So in the comments down below, let me know what you think this should be called. I'm calling it a topic overlay or a um, talking point overlay. 
but you let me know in the comments if you know the proper name for this, but I'm calling it a live stream talking point or topic overlay. This is how you create that for free in Canva. If you have any questions on how to make this or how to put it in your software, um, just comment down below and let me know. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, for other videos similar to this to help you in live streaming and tech, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.